from Krimo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Specialty chemicals company Clarient has launched a new center of excellence in Johannesburg in South Africa, with this aimed at supporting the growing African mining industry. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. Clarion Sub-Saharan Africa head Dries Latahan indicated that the new center would enable Clarion to provide tailored chemical filtration and separation solutions for mining companies in the region. The facility will serve as a regional hub for mining operators in Africa, serving mines in South Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, the rest of Africa, and even beyond the continent, if needed. Latahan explains the rationale behind opening the center as well as the benefits it will engender. Originally, we, we were most of the support and the technical basis we came from Europe. Uh, we had people stationed in Southern Africa, but the support and all the product development happened in Germany specifically. Uh, we took a stance last year to say we want to have it local. We want to develop these products locally. We want to have local technical expertise uh, people working for us to support our customers on a local basis. Obviously, that gives us advantages to make it more customer specific. Our product is really tailor-made for each application on the customer side. And it is um, faster. It's much quicker to develop a solution for a customer if you have your center of excellence in Southern Africa. It further makes sense because the sulfuric ore deposits is here. It's not in Europe anymore. So we want to, to have the expertise locally. Latahan outlines the new center of excellence. We basically have a um, full laboratory setup to test our, the application of our products, develop these products. We will start with um, all samples coming from various customers that's taken in a representative manner to represent the ore body or the stream uh, that the customer is treating. We will then crush those ore bodies down to exactly the same, to simulate the process as the customer is doing. We will mill it to exactly the same specifications and then we will start doing the froth rotation test work, tailor make our products using the chemistries available from Clarion Global R&D centers, but we will tailor those products to make sure we give the customer exactly what they want. Some customers might have challenges in their operations, they might have challenges with their tailings operations. Global economy might change where something like Nicholas now more buy a valued or uh, they want to recover more gold in a copper process for argument's sake. And we can tailor make solutions for those customers in the laboratory. Notably, the center ties into Clarion's commitment to sustainability and products will bear the company's Ecotain label, which indicates that products have undergone a systematic, in-depth screening process using 36 criteria in all three sustainability dimensions of social, environmental and economic. Latahan elaborates. The big change that we make is in terms of sustainability. Clarion divides sustainability into three key pillars, um, planet, people, performance, uh, which means if we develop a product, it needs to be better for the environment, it needs to be better for the people that get in contact with that um, reagent or that solution, and it um, needs to give us better performance. And if we don't have those three criteria stick, we, we won't label the product with our Ecotain logo. So the fact that it's more sustainable puts us apart, and the fact that we can tailor make it specifically for that customer, specifically for the ore type, and specifically for the challenges that they have sets us apart. Other news making headlines. PPC warns against the threat of substandard cement products and large scale dismissals continue to rise in labor markets. Substandard cement products are threatening the built environment industry and placing South African lives at risk, says PPC. As a market leader, we do benchmark with our competitors and this started with us benchmarking with our competitors. But then as we get the results from our own lab, we realize that there is actually quite a lot of uh, results that were really shocking, uh, to say the least. And we decided now we're going to do a very detailed survey of that. And uh, just for independence, we actually contracted uh, uh, Beton Lab and uh, we didn't want to put our hands on the bag to make it independent. And uh, they carried on with the tests for the last uh, two years. And uh, basically, in fact, the results showed a deterioration as the times become tougher and tougher which shows you that um, actually some of the products that are coming into the market 
they're starting to take a lot of shortcuts in producing these products. The Council for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration revealed that the Commission had observed increased referrals of large-scale dismissals in the 2018-2019 financial year. As we receive these disputes, we must be able to zoom in and see which area is more problematic in terms of the cases referred. So I can confirm to you that the business and professional sector remained the highest referring sector, uh, sitting at 27%, and followed uh, closely by the security sector, uh, which comes second highest, accounting for 12%, and then followed by the retail sector, which is sitting at 11%. Now, our projection for 2019 and 2020 is that this caseload that I've just presented, it is projected to increase by 25%. This is due to the new jurisdiction that I alluded to relating to the national minimum wage and the basic conditions of employment. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.